Nigeria on Friday recorded 329 new cases of the novel COVID-19. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control said this. The health agency also reported seven additional deaths, making the death toll 973. Lagos has the highest number of new cases among the states on Friday, with 113 fresh infections. Kano State recorded 49 new cases and the FCT recorded 33. Other states with new cases include Plateau 24, Kano 16, Edo 15, Ogun 14, Delta 13, Oshun 10, Oyo 8, AKT 6, Bayelsa 6, Akwaibom 5, Bonu 4, Enugu 4, Eboin 3, Rivers 2, Bauchi, Nasarawa, Gombe, and Ninja 1 each. 35,998 persons have recovered from the disease. And joining us live to discuss this further is medical practitioner, Dr. Ayodeji Olani. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you for getting me on this morning. Lagos still has the highest number of uh, COVID-19 infections in Nigeria. Now, with the state ease in the lockdowns, would, wouldn't this uh, uh, spike community transmission? Well, thank you for the question. I think community spike has been on. It's, it's been spiking and it will keep, keep increasing. The number of people infected will keep increasing once the lockdown has been eased down to totally. Um, we found that, that it's now a common norm. Uh, we've lost the social distancing practices in the society. Um, we found that, that people are engaging each other more than they used to. Um, you know, the usual COVID greeting used to be the elbow shake, but now people are actually handshaking. They're forgetting to wash their hands, although they are being put in place by certain um, individuals. But we're here to see it in commercial quantities, probably at bus stops, the bus parks. Uh, well, it's going to spike and people will get infected and infected. But the question we need to ask, what is the percentage of people that are being screened that are positive let's know the volume of people that have been screened per day are they doing enough then the next step will be what's the criteria for screening why do you choose people that to be, to be screened do you go to the marketplaces to do a mass screening or they walk up to you before you screen so that reduces the chances of everybody being get screened and the next fact should be that those people being screened are they not going to be reinfected the fact that you're positive this week, I mean, you're negative this week, does not mean that you cannot be positive next week. So those, those things need to be put in place. And the government needs to state up, uh, stand up, make policies in this direction to ensure everybody has equal opportunities. All right, so doctor, I was asking you, saying uh, since Nigeria recorded a first COVID-19 outbreak, uh, uh, the first case in February 2020, doctors and nurses have been on the front line. I'm sure many people are curious. So as a doctor, Please tell us your experience. Yes, um, with the cases being skyrocketing on a daily basis, we found that people need to ensure that they engage themselves more, improve on what they call hygiene, individual hygiene, also the community hygiene. Ensure that you wash your hands as we've been preached every day, and um, ensure the, sh the social di distancing. Um, to us as a community in the medical field, we found it, um, we found it as, as a deteriorating experience because you get to keep your patient at harm's length, a comfortable distance. So it doesn't bring that patient-doctor relationship. That bond is no longer there. You, you, you see your patient and you need to scream for your patient to tell you or the, 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 their presentations or their complaints, because you don't know who's coming in, who's positive at every point in time, and you don't want to get infected. You don't want to take this home. Also, the patients that come to hospital, you don't even know the health worker that's positive. So uh, it's, it's a disaster in total. It's, 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 it's a social disaster. Mm. So that I think people must understand. Thank you, doctor, for sharing your experience with us today on The Breakfast.